gonna get my conch, rook, and tragus done today, as well as my tongue reopened. So it's been like two years since I've been pierced, so we'll see how this goes. You said you had it stretched? To a six how gauge, yeah. How long has it pierced for? How long did you have it out for? Uh, I've had it out for a couple of years. It was at six gauge for about a year, I want to say. Um, had it for, I want to say six or seven years before I took it out. Might experience a little bit of swelling, so we will use the longer bar to accommodate for that for the first couple weeks. Right. After about four or six weeks, after the energy goes back down, you can go ahead and put a shorter bar in. Um, we're putting three quarters length in, so I'd recommend honestly probably five eighths or nine sixteenths for healing. And then I would give it still at least, give it at least probably six to eight months. Of um, healing time fully if you want to restretch it up, okay. just so you don't have any tearing issues since it's still right. Since it's kind of technically fresh. I mean, since we did reopen. That it. was easier than I thought. Huh? And then what piercing did you want to start with? Uh, whatever you think would be best, man. Um, I know my tragus didn't hurt before. The rook didn't really hurt. Conch was a little painful, but that's to be expected. Well, we'll start with the conch first, and then we'll move on from there. Sounds good. Ready? See what I'm saying? With the that one was that bad. That's because we used a punch. Get a little bit of pressure. Keep it in. That makes me want to take the other one out and get punched at six then. And that's what I'm saying, man. It's just so much nicer on the body. It doesn't take as much. Keep it in. Okay. So doesn't take as much pressure on the body. It's just nicer for everything around. Cool. Um, yeah, I got mine punched at straight zero. That's awesome, wow. Keep it in. Cool. Gotta put the gym on you all up. Awesome. And then I got mine done and everything was so much different and easier. I was just like, dude, this is, this is the route to go. So when I do conscious above 16, it don't matter, I always use a punch. That's cool. Just because healing process, everything on my client, dude, it makes it so much nicer for you. I bet. And it's more comfortable. There's less, it's just less trauma on the body. Literally though. And easier healing, yeah. So like, much like, painless. Honestly, I think the weirdest part is just the sound. Yeah, crunch. It, it makes a louder crunch than a needle. Right. But other than that, dude, it's it's just so much easier. It's not bad. Yeah, and you're already pretty much clotted up too. Like. I just cool. gotta clean you up and hit you with some saline when that one's done. Awesome. First it was it was Pinterest and Pinterest <laughs> fucking Well the thing about Pinterest dude that a lot of girls weren't understanding a lot of the piercings they were seeing online were fake. Oh they exactly. They were deeper. They were those fucking fake sticker gems, you know what I mean? They weren't the actual piercing. Oh wow. They were just yeah. photoshopped really well. You know what I mean? Right. And then so, they're like, oh let me just get this. Oh let me you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well the if the biggest one was like the triple four healing. So you know what I mean? Oh yeah. That, that was so became so popular. many fucking popular dude and mm -hmm. every girl and their sister, you know, thought, oh well I saw it online, everybody should just be able to get it done. And I already know you don't have the anatomy and then like Trying to explain that to a client, like, hey, you don't have the anatomy to right. do something. They don't, they don't get it. No, they yeah. don't. It's mad yeah. at you. Exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, blow Joe down the street that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. It's like, yeah, I'll do it for 20 bucks. Exactly. Shit, I can on the then you end up with a butcher piercing. <laughs> <laughs> Will do, brother. Right. Awesome. Painless once again. Like I said, man, I mean, you did pay me to put a hole in your body, but there's no reason to be a dick about it. Try to be a <laughs> quick and painless as I can be. Because I've had some interesting experiences over the years. See, and that's least. my thing too, dude, is I started getting tattooed and pierced at an uh, extremely young age, oh, man. Okay. Like, uh, back when, I, I mean, we're probably around the same age, but How old back are you? when I was uh, 30. Okay, I'm 28, yep. Back when I was 16, um, the rule was, and they changed the ruling, I want to say it was back in 2000 and 2005, 2006. Oh. Uh, if you were 16 and your parents signed, right. they only had to sign once and you could go back as many fucking oh, times really? as you want. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. So, my mom signed when I was 16 and I just kept going back. That's awesome. So, um, I also 
trusted too many fucking people. Oh, sure, yeah. That I thought were going to do good jobs. And thankfully, I mean, it, it led me to my career and finding people that I trust and whatnot. But True. that's the thing, too, is, you know, just because someone's in a shop doesn't make them a professional. Right. And I learned that the hard way at a young age. I got, I think my, it was my first piercing, actually. Oh. I went to Ohio. Huh. And we were, I was working construction with this company. It was like 17, 16, somewhere around that age. Oh. And uh, I was just with my boss. I was like, man, I really want to get pierced. Da, da, da. It's like, oh, my buddy that used to work with us in the construction quit to open a tattoo shop. You know, da, 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 da. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, my lip was so fucked up. Oh, no. Like, dude, I had... I had like such a bad infection. I had it, and it wasn't from what I did. Like, right? Because normally with piercings, like in doctors and stuff, they can tell you like if it's piercing or error or you know something you did. Sure. It was definitely dude. Like, I, it was split, dude. He oh, used like no. a 14 gauge needle to do an oh. 18 gauge piercing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was cheese just, wire effect. Much? Oh, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. That's it insane. started tearing through my lip, dude, and it oh. was swelling on top of that. So my lip got, dude, just so fucking fat, like. That would be it was not fun. Brutal, man. Ready? There's it. Wow. Just gotta wrap the needle out, which is probably gonna be the most irritating part about this situation. I do apologize. No, no problem. Just map it around your piercings, deep breath. Just gotta chase the taper in the truth here and you're all done. Awesomeness. As far as taking care of it, like I said, normal saline solution two to three times a day. Just gotta put the drawer in, that was stuff. Sweet. There's that. We'll get you cleaned up. You're all done. Thank you, awesome man. Like I said, I try to be as nice as I can be. I mean, ultimately did pay me to stab you in the face, but there's no reason to be there about it. Q tip anything like that. The main thing being the little strands of cotton can get caught in your piercing. That happens next. Hey guys, so I just realized I didn't give a very good close-up of my ear where I got my left tragus done, my left conch punched at 14 gauge, and I got my left rook pierced as well, and he did reopen my tongue. So that's exciting. But I just wanted to talk about this process real quick and show you guys and recommend Malibu at Ink Therapy in Lansing. He actually reopened my tongue, as I said. I'm, I don't know why I just like toppled over. I think it's because I just got up like a few minutes ago. I previously stretched my tongue to a 6 gauge so it's still open and everything but one end of it had kind of closed so he actually just put in like a 14 gauge ta uh, taper I believe it was and it opened it right back up it was painless it didn't hurt so that was pretty cool because I've been missing my tongue ring for a while I figured why not try to see if I can get it back in you know what I mean and I've been wanting these piercings for a while so it's kind of cool to actually go ahead and get them done the conch punch did not hurt at all like I have my right conch pierced and even then I found out it's not pierced at the proper angle I don't know if you can see that but there's my conch in my right ear it's like not even with the proper angle and that was pierced with a regular 14 gauge needle or 12 gauge one of the two but that one, the one that was done improperly, hurt twice as bad as this conch punch did. So like they literally took, took a chunk of my ear, like a small chunk because it's only 14 gauge, and they literally dermal punch it to where it takes a clean cut of skin out. And I don't know why, but it hurt a lot less than when they actually used a hollow needle, so that was cool. But here is the conch piercing. It's not really good to Handle your piercings with your hands. I did just wash my hands, but just so you guys know, you don't want to handle fresh piercings really with dirty hands, obviously. Uh, there's the tragus there. I don't know how much you guys can see. I'm trying to get some good lighting going, but I always struggle with these ear videos because it's hard to see and check myself with the angles and stuff. And then you have my rook up here as well. But long story short, it's a 14 gauge conch punch, um, 16 gauge tragus I believe, as well as 16 gauge rook, to my knowledge. Hopefully you guys could see that here one more time real quick. Make sure if you're in the Lansing or Michigan area, if you ever want a piercing, you should definitely go to Malibu. His Instagram is going to be in the description below. It's just modified by Malibu. And he actually works at the shop Ink Therapy in Lansing, Michigan, located kind of near the Frandor Shopping Center. I just highly recommend Malibu. He knows what he's doing. I've known him for a couple of years because I've went and got tattoos at the shop before. 
and he just does a really good job made me feel super comfortable talked me through everything showed all the sterilized needles which is great because some piercers don't really show you that you know he's just like so professional and down to earth i definitely plan on going back to him for more piercings and i might even get my conch punched over here at like a four gauge because he recommended me to close this one up if i want them to be symmetrical because this one is not the right placement. I'm definitely planning on going back to Malibu in the future, hopefully sometime early next year or something, but we'll see. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. It really helps me out, it helps my channel grow. So please do that and show your support for Josh Taylor Vlogs. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment below. Do you have any piercings or mods or tattoos? Do you like this type of video? Let me know. And if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, make sure to click that subscribe button and the push bell notification icon so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.